So this bed, you see, yeah, I see. Reminds it. me of of my greatest conquest. Going to sleep at night? It's harder than you think. <sighs> Ultimately, it's a lot easier to assassinate someone if they're already asleep. Well, yeah, but that's also like a dick move. Yeah, but it what it just it gets the job done. Like, let's just say Fugan needs to have a brother. What? What? So did you. What? Galileus does not. Galileo. His, his name Galileo isn't Galileo. Does not fuck around. God damn, Galileo. You are no. He does fuck around based on what you just said. But you want to see my technique? I, I guess, yeah. So I stand next to the bed, and then murder. That's a little bit high up, don't you think? I drop the knife. Then it looks like an accident. Then it looks like an accident. Like you, you think that most people just say, "Oh, I've got this knife hanging above my head. I love this decor." <laughs> oh no, it has fallen and apparently gotten enough gravity to to slice through my entire body and kill me. Anyway, cool room. What about that? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say two words and I'm gonna hope that you get the message. Chiche. Jaws. I cannot believe this has happened. I, I genuinely can't believe that this is this is insane. Like I didn't want to, to I didn't want to let it sink in when I read the, the story and the and the icon, but I <laughs> How? What timeline are we living in? That this has happened. That I <laughs> oh, is there a portal? It's real, Conan! Is Geralt The back? magic is real! Nice shot! Oh, they've added magic back? Nice! The worlds have collided! And it's real! Oh! So you're saying the behemoth's back? Behemoth's back! How have they done this? Why? This is... I assume a lot of hours of coding. <laughs> I'm so happy, but so blown away! How has this happened? This is... This... This blows the door wide open. Anything is possible from this point onwards. If you'd like to see my perspective, it's a black screen. You're you're good now. You're you're I'm you're, not, you're, you're I'm all right. Not okay, good. I'm gonna go. I'm all right, we're gonna. Sorry, I'm I was. Bad. Sorry. Wait, can I can I high five you? Uh, you could try. All right, here you go. I'm gonna. Oh, sorry, that's, I missed. That's, that's not. Yeah, that's sorry, not. I. Look, you don't have to draw this out. Like, I get that you were like trying to pull a fast one on me, but you don't need to like really rub it in. Oh, cotton. Oh, cotton. That's me. When you see this, like, your universe is going to expand. Because the Monster Hunter universe has has expanded. You know, like, it's... Okay. Worlds have collided, and genuinely, the gloves are off, all the bets are off. Are you telling me we're going to fight Ratha from Stories 2? <laughs> yeah! Ray's Wings just sat there like, all right! <laughs> but I, like, okay, Cotton, seriously. I was called him Razzwing. Okay. I, yeah. No, I, I really, like, I, yeah, I don't, yeah. I know I hype up every new monster because, of course, it's fun right. and it's great, but I yeah. genuinely cannot convey or express or put into words how big of a deal what you're about to see is. Narga Kuga! Narga Kuga! Holy shit! I know! Wow! Who could have seen this coming? Oh, we should probably wait for Astalos to leave leave the zone of where we need to be. He's literally camping our, our soon-to-be new friend. Maybe if we stare at him disappointedly on the map enough, he'll he'll actually move on with his life. Your new wings aren't that pretty. Whoa. That's a lie. It is. It's a huge lie. I can't. I, you could hear there was no conviction. I can't believe you would even say that. I feel sorry for myself for saying that. You shouldn't feel sorry for yourself. You should apologize to him. Oh, sorry, Astalos. Could you please move zone? Well, now he's not going to listen to you. You've just insulted everything he cares about. His own what? wings. What was that, little bird? If you just wait, it'll happen. Thank you. A few moments later. Ah, okay, all right, he's coming this way. All right, we're good, we're good. Are you ready to have your Monster Hunter universe both shattered and expanded? Yes. Open your eyes. What? I know, right? They, they can't do that. Frontier is real.
Brisbane Nass of Ast Bringing Frontier back, thought dead and gone Well, not for long, a flagship you'll learn to love Representing all the monsters Who've gone to gog above the hot tug With a winning smile all the while So cease and desist, poison fire paralysis Reduce to mist as I insist To cycle the meek, now I really need to sleep Didn't they, haven't they literally like gone on record saying they won't do that? Yes! They've canonized Espinas! They, they freaking pulled a, they pulled a fast one on us! And a slow one, I mean, I'm- Espinas is in Sunray! I mean, I fucking love it, but I was not, in zero worlds was I expecting to see that over there. See why I wasn't exaggerating? This changes everything! I mean, there's a good couple hundred monsters that could be added to the mainline games now. I- <laughs> I, I, I'm sort of, I'm just speechless. Like, right, wait, wait. it's a little bit hard to process, isn't it? They have put a frontier, I mean, it makes sense, right? This frontier devs as part of Sunbreak. We've got followers yeah, that are like the ones in Frontier. We've got frontier yeah. attacks in Silkbinds, but to we get do. an actual monster? It was very, I wasn't expecting, what are these things, by the way? Unrelated. Yeah, I actually, uh, ground Why does the ground have straws? I like, ground literally the ground straws. I mean, can we have a quick, like, Tastes like dirt. I don't know what I expected. Is that Asolos yelling at us again? Yeah, yeah Asolos is just having a little yell. But uh, and then turning around. Espinas. Why is there Espinas here? Look at his this grin. Is, he knows what it around. means. Look at him. Like, He's in, dreaming I, of it. I'm in Sunbreak. Oh, I'm a real monster now. Oh, 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 and God. there oh, it okay, is. Okay, okay. Because remember, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't fight yeah. back for ages. He just wiggles around. <laughs> yes. Like, he's always had the rosy aesthetic, but now he genuinely looks like the stem of a rose and the thorns of a rose in, in the most possible ways they could have done. And he of course, Espinas so is the perfect guy. choice as the Raphalos of Frontier, and he's got such an interesting yeah. fight. Well, I mean, he is like the overall flagship, and they have been, like, trying to bring as many flagships in as they can, obviously, so that makes sense. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much would you have guessed a Frontier monster would be in Sunbreak? Literally zero, because they said it wouldn't. <laughs> Yeah, literally. <laughs> like, I mean, like, it's not like they were vague about it. They specifically said said that it wouldn't. And how cool it is that we got the awesome treat opportunity oh. to actually experience Frontier as yeah. well before this. Yeah, it's such such wonderful universe timing, and also his tongue's so blue. Ah! I mean, okay, that's one way to wake no, him up. No, but it's not. That's the whole point. It's not really. So cool. I have to, I mean, he's been placed pretty high up the chain here in Sunbreak's, like, monster yeah. monster organization. And hey, we get an answer to the big nest on the jungle, though I think this isn't the one we first would miss. No, it's him. not. However, it is also a big nest in the jungle. Wake I'm up. I'm just going to lay an egg. You can't lay an egg in another Espinasa's lest. Lest? Well, nest. my nest now. Are you going to... I'll wake him up with big music egg. That's perfect. Here's an alarm call. It's morning. Hey! That oh! woke him up. I mean, if anything's gonna wake up a sleeping monster, it's an it's a hunting horn. So I guess, behold, Espinas. Oh. Okay, that is pretty quick off the mark. Now it didn't take yeah, all hunting to wake up. he's not doing his kind of slow wandering. No, he's going no, straight no, for the fight. No, he is not. He has been sunbreakified. He has been sunbreakified. Oh Whoa. my god! It is poison. It's poison fire. He skipped his poison fire. fire. Yeah, that's great. I love that. Oh. It's so good to see. Ow! It's, like, I, I, it's impossible to express how little this was in the expectations for the Sunbreak card. Like, you could not have chosen a monster that more invokes what the hell? But also, yeah! Oh, look at the, look at the rage! That looks so great! There it is! Look oh my him. god! <laughs> You've done. Look, look at how they bolstered my boy. See, I've done. I've, I've been sinking into the role that you told me to get ready for pretty well. No, I'm quite, quite impressed. I'm putting another egg down. Sorry, I'm really excited. And everyone knows when a chicken's excited, they lay eggs. So when I'm excited, I gotta do the to same. To be fair, when a chicken is emotion here, it lays eggs. Yeah, chickens really like laying eggs. Unless you want them to lay an egg, and then they will never lay an egg. Like imagine, you get scared, out pops an egg. You're really happy, out pops an egg. There'd be a lot more humans if that was the way it worked. That, that is true, but then again, humans aren't eggs, so. I got so he I got attacked once and got fire debuff, poison, and paralysis. Oh yeah, he has everything. He does have a little bit of everything. Look at him! Fucking gorgeous. I love it. Yeah! Paralysis poison fire! We actually have multi-element status! That's so cool. 
See, and the thing is, Sunbreak is Sunbreak's general pace of gameplay is so fast that like Frontier stuff feels natural as well. Because like Frontier is a faster game than most Monster Hunter, but we've been slowly building up the pace all of Rise, and then Sunbreak has increased the pace even further to the point where this just feels natural. It, it just feels right. Like it, it just makes sense. It really does. As I burn poison and electrocute on the floor. Oh. Oh. I like how you said you asked for this and then died. <laughs> I asked for this. That's I asked for this. <laughs> I was about to be like, look, I just Whoa. used a frontier-inspired new switch skill to attack a frontier-inspired monster, and then it died. Yeah, then then you died. I mean, you put too much frontier in the same room. I did. I put too much frontier in this, and you can't do that. All right, you just you can't. Everyone knows there's a limit to the amount of frontier that fits in one space. It's a big game. I will say the jungle is starting to make a lot more sense. Yeah, just a little bit. I mean. We did say there has to be some bigger, some like, uh, some higher, higher card creatures out here. This is one of them. Astalos was a good one. If this, if these weapons don't have multiple things on them, I will be sad. Yes! His armor and weaponry! Oh yeah, does that mean we're gonna get frontier skills in maybe? Do you think they'll put in like a skill that was originally just in frontier on his armor? Oh. I can believe it. Absolutely. Oh, oh what's happening? Oh, he's gonna do something what's cool. Happening? Oh, he's just going anger mode. Oh, oh god. Okay. okay, every okay. attack is poison right now. Well, I mean, the face attacks. God, he... Every attack, I say. <laughs> Dude, they put Espinas in the mainline series. Oh my god. It, it's un I don't believe it. I mean, I'm fighting it, and I don't believe and it. And he's still called Espinas. Like, th this means that they could add whatever the hell they want now. That's what I'm saying. Like, the bar the door is open. You can't close it. The lid is off. And that's off. the thing. The is like... The cat is the, no longer trapped in the bank. Like, the reason, like, we've always said they're not going to add frontier monsters they're not going to add frontier monsters, but now it's what is the limit of frontier monsters that they would add, you know? Like, they could add anything they want, and it's now within reason, but, like, what is what is the point where they'd be like, we don't want that one? We don't know. It's 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 just, it's wide open. It's wide fucking open. Two hours later. Erisarion? Holy Christ! <laughs> they put you in here? Oh, he is not messing around. You be around. careful. No, no, he is not. I mean, he was sleeping, and then he woke up, and he was not sleeping. I do wish they hadn't taken away his middle middle ground, where he's awake but still sleepy, kind of wandering until you. Yeah, make but I can also sort of see it with like just the speed of everything that we have now. I love the way that fire. He looks, looks so good. Oh, he's paralyzed out of egg range. I can't use that. <laughs> I hate it when everything's out of egg range. You. you should very keep upsetting. chickens. I think it would make you very happy. I think it would too, but it's sort of hard to fit chickens in like regular person living spaces. I don't live in a in a farm. Just put chickens around. I think if I did that, it wouldn't be so good for the chickens or for my rent. <laughs> do you? Do so we you have, have a no pets yet? policy. No, no, that's, no. It's ambient. You know we have a no pets policy. Chickens. It's not. It's not a pet. It's actually livestock. You said no so. pets. No, li no, not no livestock. Oh yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it's all right. This so is, uh, this is this is my side hustle, man. I got this chickens. Is my Hustle, Matt, you can't get me down. <laughs> my side hustle is chickens. Oh, I like I... keeping chickens in urban areas. You, you are you, you, ooh, rough Espinas moments. If the frontier monster is the first triple, I mean, hats off. I can really. believe it, and it would very much match our frontier experience. <laughs> yeah, it really would match our frontier <laughs> experience. Hard you game. become intimately familiar with the. I cards. think I was forced to be like, as far as like a, a level of learning how to play the game. On, on the base journey through it, I have never had to become as good at a Monster Hunter game just to reach the end as I did while we were playing Frontier. Honestly, every time I look at him, I still, I'm I just, just keep just, having this, yeah. that's Espinas moment. That is Espinas. I just, I have a massive smile on my face because yeah, it means like, right? like can, that's what it we is. Can get the freaking, just... we, can get, we can get the walrus monster now. We can get the fucking walrus monster. <laughs> it does, it's that, that kind of stuff's just going to keep happening now. Like, wait a minute. Like, obviously, like, there's all the big hitters, but, like, I love all the quirky early game monsters of Frontier. As I do with every Monster Hunter game, I love the quirky early game low-tier monsters. And Frontier had a load of them that I really did like. We could get fucking Bailaday! <laughs> oh, we could get Mud Crab Lightning Crab! What if Bailaday's the new Air Crab, crab to go with Hermitar and Show? Psych and Samusa. Psych and Samusa is the one that we're thinking of, and that's the one that would be fantastic. Yes, I can Samusa. That's the one. Baylor Day's the Monster Hunter Online Spider Crab Samusa. of Silk. I remember that now. That is the online one. I would also want the Spider Crab, though. Yes. And I don't think Monster Hunter Online is off limits anymore, either. Yeah, that's what I'm saying about the universe is expanding now. 
Like, if like, Frontier can thing, do it, every other spin-off exactly can now it. become it's, a monster. Before this game, it was mainline games and spin-off games, and the monsters were a separate pool, and now they're not. Now it's just, there's monsters. Honestly, if next quest, Altura flaps his, his light-ass down, starts blasting. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I think it'd be a bit early. I think we should get to the Elder Dragons before we play Altura. I think it'd be a bit early before, like, a Black Dragon tier Elder Dragon descends. But, like, I would totally believe that there is Altura in this game, and if there is an Altura in this game, I could totally believe they'd add it in DLC now. I could <laughs> see that just being a random crossover DLC Altura. Oh my god. Oh my so god. we can, like, poison fire and, uh, and thunder blight monsters probably now. Espinas is, is an S-tier wyvern ride. Right. Oh. God oh, damn. To so the ocean good. with you! I oh. cannot believe they've done this. I literally, but in the happiest way. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's like this isn't a how dare they. It's holy shit, they did it. They 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 fucking made the jump that they they nobody did. thought it feels they would like make. Applause, like you did it, guys. You well, you did it. You got you sons of guns. So you cool. sons of bitch. You you fucking did what nobody thought you would do, and it's great. You bloody went there. You defied all expectation, logic, and reason, and I'm you just said honestly, why I'm, not. I'm God still just damn. blown away. I'm still just totally blown away though the fact that we happened to have done our frontier playing right before. This. I know. It's like our like, uncle works chances? at Capcom. It is, and I don't even have it. I said our uncle, like we share it. Well, you know, Gallius has his friends. I feel like you missed the part there where I mentioned that obviously because I lay eggs and biologically Gallius is my father, that means he also lays yeah, eggs. Yeah, I'm trying not to think about those beautiful eggs. They just have big beards. Big long <laughs> Gallius gray eggs beard. have his shoulder pads and fabulous hair. It's like just the telephone sales from One as Piece. Gallius, like it's beautiful. I think all eggs in Monster Hunter should work like the telephone snails in One Piece, where they just take on yeah, the appearance they of take what on the appearance of who la laid them. I mean, I, it <laughs> who laid them? Hold up completely. Well, I know, nobody lays the snails, but you know, we gotta do our best. We gotta do our best to lay the snails. Well, I guess, do snails have eggs or they're not, they're not live birth creatures. That would be weird. I think they have eggs. Actually, that's a good, but it, that also feels weird. It does also feel weird. What do snails rebirth as? Do snails? What? Are they real? <laughs> are, sna are snails real creatures? <laughs> are snails real? Like I If there is not a turf war between Rathalos and Espinas, I will riot because oh, that, that is be symbolic. Great. Okay, snails snails do mate and lay eggs. Confirmed. Thank you, Cotton. Also, Espinas is back. Oh, good. <laughs> I was worried we would be alone for a while. Why I thought this was the part of the quest where he immediately run back in. I guess he was just like, I want to have a nap. Oh, they'll just also, wake me up again. The night, the rain, the glowing I red. Know. Like, this it's is so cinematic. I mean, the lighting on both of the new maps is incredible, and it really pays off with the monsters being as beautiful as they are. Like, Sunbreak has gotten exponentially better, exponentially quickly. Absolutely. Like, it was good, but then they were just like, uh, we saved the heavy hitters for all at the end of the game where you're going to fight them a lot. Oh. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that greatly. Like, these are the types of monsters that we will be fighting loads of, so we should have a lot of them, and a lot of good ones. And so far, we are. Like, and the thing is, it, it's oh iconically God. frontier oh without being overwhelming to be like, yeah, this poisons, burns you, and paralyzes you in one attack. Like, okay, Monster this, Hunter, of course This means does. the origin species could be a thing now? Yeah. This means that, that Zenith creatures could be a thing? This means Extreme Thunder Blight could be in the main series one day, and I'm terrified of that thought. Please give us heart attacks. I can totally believe it now. Oh my god, it's so fucking painful. No, don't finish me. I can't oh take god, it. You need to live for our glory and your eggs. Oh my god. What it's is okay. he doing? My Why eggs is it are big? Why is it a zoom out? Why is it a roar? Uh, just to let you know that he's roaring. Okay, it's so the triple charge. No, triple charge into a shot. Only the single charge. Single charge and a fireball. Interesting. I hope it has turf wars. It, it, I want it to. I mean, it's literally in an other other places turf. Yeah, that is actually really, really true. Not just true. That's really true, Con. That's exceptionally true. Literally true. Like that's it's not very just true. true. It's man. literally true. Ah! Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Yeah, I was. I was a little concerned yeah, for was, our safety there. there that was. Uh, there. That was. Yeah, I know how. I know we just said that Seregios was the toughest one that we've done so far. 
I think this was the one that was most likely to actually triple us just because of that combination of statuses. Espinas toxic really blood. Espinas! Espinas! I'm surprised. Well, I'm not surprised they kept his name, but it is interesting. I don't know. I think it's a perfectly fine yeah, it name. Is, I don't obviously, everything in Frontier is not localized, including Espinas, but Espinas is a, is a good yeah, name. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a good name anyways. Not to say that they're bad names, but, you know, usually they would localize. Yes, but we're not going to be over here in mainland Lonston getting Forokuru because you're going to call a building. Sorry, I, I just got reset mentally for a second. <laughs> it happens to the best of me. I didn't realize you knew my sleeper agent code. <laughs> oh my god, my Palico plundered an Espinas mantle. Thank you very oh, much, sir. Oh, nice. This is why you bring plunderers. That'd be a blessing from Mother Nature herself. This is why you bring plunderers. God, we've been pushed to the limit three times now. When is that triple? Even in death, he's so happy to be here, and we are yeah. too, buddy. Successfully hunted. Well done. Thanks, Admiral Dad. You're welcome, Admiral. Uh, you're not an admiral. Thank you. I just got promoted to admiral. You got promoted? All I got was this T-shirt. Oh. <laughs> Show me it. Oh, it looks. It looks right. It looks yep. correct. Yeah, it does. It's very nice. Foray! That's what? new! Oh, Foray, yeah. Increases attack power I thought you said Hooray! I was like, what's he, what's he see? <laughs> Foray! No, this is actually incredible. Increases attack power and affinity when attacking a large monster affected by poison, paralysis, or an elemental blight. That's incredible. That's the big frontier skill! That was the meta frontier skill! More damage yeah. when monster is poisoned! Yeah, and it's gonna become meta again, I have to imagine. Because increases- I mean, attack power by 15 is pretty good. Affinity by 20% is pretty good. Actually, and the thing is, the only the, 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 the reason it's so frontier as well is yeah. because frontier the meta was poison the monster, and there we go. And the thing is, the only real viable option there to use as a consistent thing is keep monster poison. Yeah, I mean to be fair, the boost seems smaller relative to our other boosts, but that is going to be used. That is absolutely going to be used. I looked at decorations. Yeah, I unlocked one I think from getting an Espinas mental. Okay, and it's the breath jewel. Does the quick breath Interesting. skill. Interesting. Okay. You can remove some statuses or slow their effects by performing a switch skill swap. What? Health recovers when a status is removed. That's incredible. So if you're poisoned, you switch skill swap, get rid of the poison, and heal. That's really good. And it's just a one and done skill. Yeah. Th I mean That's actually amazing. I mean, that's just a regular jewel? On that, if I'm honest with you. Wait, that's just a regular jewel? Yeah. I thought you were saying that was a rampage. No, this no, is a re regular jewel. That's crazy. Yeah, I can see that now too. Jewel blades. Jewel blades. No, jewel blades are fire poison. Yes, I love how we both just had that. So wait a minute. Well, it was it was it was the only one that had a high chance realistically. So yeah. I, I'm glad oh, they did. They're so cool. They are very cool. All right, Chiche, we did it. And Spinas, easy. Good doctor. Everything no needs problem. to complete the medicine. King of the Monsters still pose a major threat, of course, but with you by our side, surely we will triumph. There you go, with your head in your clouds again, Chichi. Chich, Chich. Are they implying that Espinas is a kingdom monster then? No, it's just Lunagaron, uh, Garangom, and the last one. Okay, I thought the implication was any of the ones that came here are kingdom monsters because they came from the kingdom and not what here. What if this entire time the kingdom is the area around Mesopotamia? What if that's the, that's the twist? Turns out. I mean, it could be. There what is if we a just big go to Mesopotamia? What if there's a whole other, like, Second section of the game. That, Jesus I mean, I, 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 I. This is what, this is what opening the frontier does. Well, I mean, I, I said before that they could, they could very easily just have us go to the castle at one point. It doesn't feel like it's a fully blocked off possibility at this point. So, so, Esper words. Uh, sleep, wake, kill. Sleep, wake, kill. Oh, I, I still, it's like, it, I don't use this very often, but I am shook. You know, I'm, I'm shook. Is it it, it, the the floodgates are open. There's no, there's no better way to say it. it. It's just like any anything could be added at any point that we know about from the past. Even stuff we thought never would be. And that is so cool. We're in the I'm wild. So West. excited. I mean, ironically, we're in the frontier. <laughs> we're in the final frontier. Space. Uh, all we right. We can go to space. We can go to space. Oh, let's go to space. Okay, this is sort of weird. We should go back. Oh, like you've enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more glorious sunbreak journey. And until we meet again, consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below. Oh, God.
Goodbye. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye.